How did you know it was my anniversary? Did you hear me talking to Ethan on the phone? No. It happens to be a date I'll never forget, Luke. You and I were doing pretty well, I think. And I'm not ashamed to admit that I've gotten myself pretty attached, and I think you felt the same way. I did. Then you went and ruined it all by marrying Tracy. But I suppose things happen for a reason, don't they? If we had never parted ways, I wouldn't have had a beautiful baby girl. Do you ever imagine what if? I don't like to let my mind go there. At least not too often. We don't have to close the door on those memories. We could uh, relive them. There's no time like the present. Well, you certainly talk a good game. I do more than talk. You love Tracy. And even though she doesn't deserve you, Luke, you do deserve happiness. So enjoy your anniversary. And best of luck to both of you. But, uh, Blaze! <laughs> I got fish eggs. <sighs> so, what were you two arguing about? We disagreed about a consult. Patrick expected a doctor to give an immediate opinion, even though surgery is weeks out. And I told him he was being overly demanding. Yep. It sounds like my husband, he wants what he wants, when he wants it. As my wife, aren't you supposed to have my back? And because Patrick is the best neurosurgeon in the country, I think he deserves a little leeway. That's better, thank you. Oh, well, I'll let it go this time. But in the future, you might want to think twice before rushing to judgment. Well, I defended you, but it does sound like you're out of line. Yeah, I was being an ass. So Lucky and I have been going through Judge Carroll's personal life and professional life with a fine-tooth comb, and we have nothing. The guy is clean. What about um, Jackson and Claire? Have they found anything? Nope, not yet, but we're still trying. We're not going to get Michael out as soon as we'd hoped. I went to see him and told him that. Uh, how did he take it? Oh, well, uh, apparently Sonny had already been there to pay him a visit. He's already filled Michael's head with promises that Dad's going to handle the whole thing. You don't think that could be true? I think Sonny needs to believe that so he can sleep at night. What if Sonny really has a plan? Then that could be, like, the worst thing possible for Michael. If he gets him out of Pentonville, that'll prove that when all else fails, the family business comes through. Isn't that what's happening? Jason's going to prison to keep Michael safe? Yeah. Whatever I think about Jason, he is protecting Michael, which is more than I've done. Well, you know, don't worry. You'll think of something. Yeah. Just no matter what I've done, I just seem to make matters worse. Sam, you ready? No, but I don't want you to be late. Sorry. Why do you feel like you have to apologize? Because I'll be leaving you alone. I won't be alone, Jason. Because I'll be thinking about you. <laughs> and I'll be writing you, and I'm going to be visiting you all the time. never gonna forget this. And I promise you when I get out, I'm gonna bring you back here.
It's a life.